Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt and it is Maniac Monday already. I hope, first and foremost, I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, mine was nice and I got some new movies in, which is always great to hear, uh, or always great to see. Um, speaking of for new movies, today is one of those movies that I did purchase um, out of my uh, uh, Christmas haul. And uh, I was able to pull in some some cool titles. Uh, uh, almost all of them are blind buys for me, so we'll see what I got in there. Hopefully I got some winners. Today's is a winner, though. I did really, really, I did thoroughly enjoy this one. Uh, it was a nice breath of fresh air, uh, for, for something, uh, mainstreamy to be this good. And... I really enjoyed the killer in it. The killer was really cool. Um, just all the way top notch. Now this is from 2013. It's run about an hour and 34 minutes ish. Uh, starring Aaron Hammond, Marshall Caswell, Nick Sommer, uh, Max Williamson, Sebastian Wigman, and Mark Metcalf. And it's drew by, uh, directed by Drew Rosa, Rojas, Rosas, Rojas, I'm guessing. And Nick Summer comes back over here to do the directing. He's not only acting in it, but he is directing it. Uh, and he also, I believe, did, uh, both of them, both Nick and, and, uh, Drew wrote the, the screenplay for this. Yeah, written and directed by both of them. Yeah, sweet. And it's a story by by uh, by Nick Sommer as well. So it's a uh, it is none other than Billy Club. Yes, fun, 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 fun flick. Um, this is the uh, only release I know of here in the states. It is the uncorked release. Uh, I love the cover art for that. It's, it's pretty fun. And then you turn it over here. That's the only special features you got. You got a uh, director's commentary on there. Not a whole lot of anything. Um, as far as that goes, there's zero reversible cover art as, as usual with most standard releases. Let's get that bad boy back in there. And this is a DVD, not a DVD-R. So that's always nice to nice to know. It's a nice for nice uh, uh, um pressed disc I should that's what I mean to say um, now what is this about it's about a uh, there was a a uh, uh, what was it 1988 is when it was supposed to or 1986 is when it's supposed to take place and it and, and uh, or 88 and then it's 97 I think in in real time but anyways it starts off with the story 15 years beforehand there was a brutal brutal murders of three two baseball players and a coach and these are minor league this is a minor league baseball team uh, to just to let you know so two chill, two kids and and the and the coach died now the coach, his death was pretty gnarly. They he had a baseball bat jammed down his throat. Um, very 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 f cool visual. Um, now I'm not giving anything away with that, just because it's something you see really early on in the film, and it's it's part of what sets up your story. Um, fast forward it to the to 15 years later. They're grown ups now. Um, they're having a reunion with with what few players are still alive because somebody has been picking off the other players one by one. They don't know of it other than than the than what they are. They don't know of the the killer yet, um, or of the killings. They don't know anything of it, or at least they don't speak of anything of it at that point. Uh, now. When they reunite, it's pretty interesting because you got um, three guys and a gal. The gal is is a tomboy type. Uh, the guys are all goofy over her. Um, I honestly don't see the see why. I mean, she's okay looking. She's not really my type. Um, I I don't mind tom tomboy girls. I I've been there, done that. Uh, she just wasn't very. She she's an attractive gal, just not my type. Let's just say it like that. Um, these guys are goofy over her. 
they're baseball players. As a matter of fact, the one has got his little baseball uniform on and his little baseball hat backwards, and he's got all the great one-liners and a magical mullet that is just it's glorious. You know, it's uh, hopefully someday my hair will look as glorious as, as that. Ah, I doubt it. Um, <laughs> so they meet back up at at the bar that the girl is working at. Blah 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 blah. This one guy comes in and claims he is Bobby Spooner, who was one of the other baseball players on there. They didn't recognize him at first, but they realize, oh yeah, that could be him. They uh, go back to this cabin, have a nice little shindig where they're all um, getting nice and toasty. Um, you enter more of the, the killer. The killer is wearing a, a catcher's outfit. With it complete with the shin guards, the body body uh, chest piece, and the uh, 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 catcher's mask, very which is very new and different. A uh, baseball bat with with nails in it, and it also has a uh, a, a retractable blade like, that he put in there, so he can uh, not only slash but he can stab with it as well. Very interesting, very cool little weapon. Uh, new and different, the baseball bat part, nails of the baseball bat, that was just kind of like, okay, but then when he put in that little, that last, excuse me, that last little blade in there, that's what made it extra unique and something new. How, how in God's name does it work really well? I don't know. Like, the physics of it doesn't sound right, like the way, like the mechanics of it, um, I imagine the blade would be very loose in there and would wouldn't uh, really sit in there the best. I did see that there is a piece of metal over the uh, the baseball bat holding it in place, but it's a very small piece, and the blade is is probably six inches long or or longer. It's a it's a it's a longer blade. It's it's fixed blade, so they're it, retractable. It was a fixed blade. Um, now, as far as the characters go, do you feel any remorse for them? Uh, they're likable characters. Uh, I don't. There's only one character I disliked in the whole movie, and that was the Bobby Spooner character. I thought he was annoying and kind of a, I don't know, the cliche, coming back to town, uh... uh Back to the small town city boy that that uh, plays that that role, you know. It's it's all it is. It's kind of cornball. I I didn't really care for that part. Um, now the cool thing is, is the killer's name is Billy. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, I watched a movie with Billy not that long ago, and it was it was a uh, uh, Black Christmas because Billy always comes home for Christmas in this house. <laughs> and Billy Club will be one that I am I'm glad that I uh, uh, added to this to the uh, collection. I will watch it more times. Um, it had enough going on for it in that. Uh, back to the uh, characters. Yeah, the the only one I didn't care for was the Bobby Spooner character. He's kind of a, I don't know. Like I said, he's cliche. He's something we've seen before. It's nothing new or different with him. Uh, as far as the other characters go, there's nothing really new or different with them either. Just they have better personality and more charisma at the characters with the characters they're playing. Uh, uh, my favorite character in the whole movie is the the baseball the guy I mentioned earlier with the baseball. Outfit on and his hat backwards and his mullet. That guy is my favorite character in the whole movie. He's got some of the great, best one lines in the entire film. Uh, his little buddy with him is very, I enjoy him too. At first, I didn't know what to think because he's got one of those hipster hair bandanas holding his hair back like, like a soccer player, and it just is a real put a turn off when I see people do that um, unless you're a girl you know otherwise it just looks too hipsterish for me and it just it'll never work uh, coming from a guy who who uh, uh, has has facial hair long hair and wears a hat all the time yeah I'm, I'm with the hipster comment <laughs> I'm not a hipster uh, but back to this movie uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone with as far as the story goes because it's I set up your basic things. It's it's a killer hack and slash one by one. You're going, you're going, you're going. Never really gets boring or dull. Uh, very very fun. So let's get on to my rating for this one. Uh, there's like I said, there it's very fun. There's only a couple of little things here and there, like the twist in the end. I the twist in just the ending in general. I thought was a little a little weak compared to everything that we that was led up to, uh, especially the way they they uh, um, uh, reveal Billy. You know, it's like come on, we've seen this before, guys. Come on, that that doesn't work. I don't. I just don't see it. Uh, we did get a nice uh, uh, addition in here of uh, oh, Metcalf, Mark Mark Metcalf. He plays um, Niedermeyer Meyer in uh, Animal House, and he's also in the uh, Twisted Sister uh, video. And oh, I know him from something else, but I can't remember off the top of my head from a few other films. But anyways, back to my rating. Uh, like I said, the ending is a little weak. Uh, the plot on that, the, the gaping holes at that end, at the end are a little bit much to, to, to really cope with. It's not enough to make you dislike the film by any means. It's still really good. Uh, so let's give it a three on that one. It's nice middle of the road. Um, as far as the camera angles go, there's nothing, nothing super artsy or anything crazy or cool. No long tracking shots. Nothing, nothing like, like any bird's eye view or, or you do, I take that back, I take that back. There is a scene where, where the goofy hipster kid accidentally eats a whole mess load of, of mushrooms, chocolate mushrooms on top of it, and he is tripping, tripping big time. He is, he is definitely high as a kite, tripping balls, um, there's some really cool visuals with that. I, I do really enjoy what they did with that. It was it was very fun and very cool. Um, so there is that. So let's let's jump it up to a four now. So we had all that, and then we add in that little that part because it is very that part is very good. Um, we'll give it the four on that entertainment side. This thing is a solid four as well. This is entertaining as hell from beginning to end. Uh, like I said, you got a great performance from Mark Metcalf in here. The killer is fun and cool and different. Um, check it out, guys. I can't say say much more about this. It's from Uncorked Entertainment. It's dirt cheap. It's under under fifteen dollars. I think I paid like ten bucks for it. Can't remember. It was it wasn't very much. Um, all right, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm on 13 minutes. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Terrible Tuesday. I might have something lined up already. I'm not 100% if I want to use it for, for that day or not. Uh, either way, um, Wednesday is going to be awesome. I got a great one. Uh, Friday's already planned. Uh, Thursday, eh, I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, love your faces. As always, peace.